Here's Johnny. Yay. We're back with Harry Potter 2 for once. And uh, I just, you know, I just found these cards here that I was missing. So I wasn't really missing any cards, obviously. No. They were just there all along. I, I just neglected to pick them up for a bit. <clears throat> no, wait, wait a minute. I mean, I mean, I mean, no, no, no. That's, that's a good point, Johnny. Um, and, you know, I like Harry Potter, but I'm going to derail the part and talk about, uh, <laughs> about wrestling the weather. instead. Well, and I don't the know. weather. Yeah. I, he did derail a part one time, Angus did, about uh, at, by talking about uh, the weather Going across wrong. the Netherlands, I believe. Like, <laughs> oh, how's the weather different from. Oh, oh, and, oh and the length. Oh no, the breadth of my country, like the furthest okay. east point to the furthest. The Weatherlands. <laughs> Oof, okay, yeah, he never stooped that. Yeah. Uh, oh, he, he never went that low. <laughs> Speaking of low, welcome back. It's your favourite duo. Or one of your favourite duos, top five at least, depending top on 20, what your sensibilities easy. are. <laughs> top 20, borderline top 50, but you know, <laughs> hopefully not the higher end of the top 50. Uh, that's actually a reference to AC... Uh, fuck ADBC. What am I doing? I'm looking at one of the most beautiful women in Bethlehem. That's what I'm doing. Top 20, easily. <laughs> Top 10. Which is a great fucking uh, mock sort of uh, TV musical. Like that. that's sort of a parody of uh, Jesus Christ Superstar by like <laughs> by Matt Berry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I, that seems like I, I, for some reason when I hear a name like that, it reminds me of like this hour has twenty two minutes or like you know like a Canadian sketch show, but it must be British. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's yeah, it's Matt Berry and Richard Aoad. Oh yes. But we're finally so basically what we're doing is we're finally cleaning up <clears throat> the gold card challenge. So that's basically a whole fucking level to the game that was missing a, ho a whole challenge. Uh, I also f found out that the other spell challenges that you do in this game, you can actually redo them again to get perfect scores on them. Like, there's actual perfect oh, scores okay, good, yeah. uh, that you can get. Let me see. Like here. And... Jeez. Look at those numbers. And if you ah. do get them, you get, like, way more house points. So that's how we could have, like, surpassed Slytherin. As well as by Quidditch and stuff like that. And it's probably... Oh, shit, there's a really short timer on this. Oh, okay. Like, I have, like the, uh, I have, like, maybe played this one once in my life, but I've completely yeah. forgot. This is like, uh, this is as if it's, um... We got, like, Silent Hill, you know, alternative endings here. You got the bad ending for getting beaten by Slytherin. You know, like, that's... Oh, you know, shit, they're in a very yeah. dark timeline. That's you know, it's a very dark timeline. I wonder if there's... Oh, there's no secrets that you can find in this. So you just have to be quick, I guess. Oh! Oh, it's Bertie sort of 3D. Oh. Bertie oh, butt. Can't be a children. Can't be a taste yeah. of my... Candy. My beads. Do you want a candy? Got a piece of candy? Come with me. <laughs> hop, hop into my... Hop into my... Uh, what is it? Like... God. <laughs> my, my broomstick. Oh, hop closet. onto my broomstick. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, oh, it's just, it's just over near the broomstick closet. That's, that is what thing I said, uh, what's his name? Uh, fuck, in Dutch he's called Smallheart. Lockhart. Lockhart, uh, He yes. said, like, when he was trying Don't to run away man. from Harry Potter and stuff like that, he was like, Oh, gotta warm up my broom. <laughs> like, excuse me, children, I just gotta warm up my broom. Hmm. I like the carpet here, but for the rest, these areas are pretty simplistic so far. Yeah, they are. This Fair. is essentially... Is this bonus content, I guess? I, I guess it kind it of feels like a bit it. like it, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, well, speaking of, of that, uh, there's, there was a... <clears throat> so there's basically a three-header we want to do here in, in sort of uh, extra Harry Potter 2 material, because we want to uh, also do this like sort of th there was basically an, uh, an extra level included that's still included with the game like a map file uh you just can only access it it's like it was supposed to be you 
on your way to Hagrid or something that was supposed to be that level. Even though it's not outside or anything, but whatever. I could have just done it. Have you ever seen that website, The Cutting Room Floor? Because that kind of deals with the content that the content that gets, um, you know, cut from games and stuff. And I oh, wonder if there's any yeah, articles about... Yeah, specifically games? Oh, yeah, probably, like right? mainly games, I'm pretty sure, yeah. 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 No, I haven't, I haven't uh, checked that out. But yeah, yeah it's so really cool. Like plenty of stuff. I, I bet you this game had a lot of cut content. You know, time. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I mean, the only th the only thing I know of is, I mean, there's probably a lot of cut content, but th there's definitely, but but that's like the only thing that's still included in the game, I believe, in terms of like a full map. Yeah. There might, might be a few assets, but at least that map is like fully playable, and you can like finish it and everything. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so we want to do that. So that's like a level that wasn't included in the main game. And then also there's the, uh, demo level for the E3 sort of demo of this game, which is completely different as well from any... It's kind of weird, that one, though, because it has... Uh, I've, I've seen it and it has, like, a sort of a more Harry Potter 1 feel to it in terms of... That it's sort of more so, sort of close together, everything less open areas and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, while it's actually in, with Harry Potter 2 graphics and mechanics and stuff like that, so that's kind of interesting. Kind of like. Oh, I wonder if there's. Sometimes, um. Oh, shit, I missed it now. You know, they have content that they wanted to do you know, in a previous game, they kind of like hold it over, bring it over to the next game. Like, uh, mm. do you remember Ratchet and Clank? Two, how there was like those kind of circular 3D planets. Oh yeah, um, th they were meant to be in the first game, but they just didn't have time to to implement them. Oh um, yeah. So you know, it's like it's like I wonder if they've got some stuff like that that they you know they brought over from one you know, in this game. And I'm I kind of wondering. I'm really curious about Harry Potter, uh, you know, four, which you know, you're going to be doing. So or how yeah, I guess, started, uh, I guess yeah, so. so I wonder because I to me like that's where Harry Potter games ended. Kind of like, in terms <laughs> yep. of being good. That's the that's the case for most people. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly the last one that was developed by. I mean, three was the last one that was developed by uh, the the same guys, basically. Yeah. So uh, I was actually watching a speed run of Harry Potter two recently, and like I might have even checked out a few, like partially, and they were all saying how like yeah. Uh, their favorite is pretty much Harry Potter 2 and uh, Harry Potter like the original trilogy is great and then the rest sucked yeah but then yeah same it's same with it's same with PS2 as in PS1 as well right because like I feel like Harry Potter 5 was still kind of playable I, I finished Harry Potter 5 back in the day uh, on PC but it was like weird like the story which is already kind of a thing in harry potter 3 as well the story is so like sort of munted it's so fucked up where it like <laughs> completely yeah goes like it 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 just just goes from one to the other thing like without like just just leaving a shit ton out basically is what it is what it does like oh, all of a sudden now you're on a bird and like going like I don't know I don't even know where you're going in Harry Potter 5 on a bird but or was it like these dragons I don't even some... remember the whole plot of the fifth anymore Order of the Phoenix it's like they're about like a yeah. secret fan club or something well I I just remember uh a fan club I guess maybe I don't know like I thought the or Order of the Phoenix nice. was like serious being like down yeah, in was, the yeah. in this weird holy shit are we already done that's lame. Okay, that's... Bertie Bolt. He's got no more beans to give. Oh, what the hell? Why is he like... Ho, ho, ho. Oh, shit. I thought he just... Threw a few beans out. Cool. Peter. It's like Squazzy 3D. It's kind of interesting, yeah. I guess. Hmm. Se I thought it's, it's Cedric Gryffindor. It's... Oh, Godric. Godric. Godric, it's, they're so on the nose. 
It's, uh... Oh, who's that guy called? What's that guy called? Wasn't he also on Survivor? The guy who got hit? Oh, Colby. Colby. Oh, no, no. Oh, well, maybe. Who the oh. fuck knows? He might look like him. The guy who also got hit by a goose in the head uh, while he was on a roller coaster. <clears throat> he just had, like, one name. Like, just this one... Fuck, what was it? It, it had... Fabio. Yes, that's the one. There we go. I it feel like... It. Hey, you remember him from being on Survivor? That's you know, no, that hilariously I random piece of trivia. I just remember... I remember him... I just know him in general as, like, sort of a weird B-list celeb or whatever. <laughs> Stoner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like... It's so random. But then... But you... But I remember bringing him up before, bringing Fabio up before or something. Or yeah. ma maybe you did. Oh, th there he is. What a, yeah. what a nerdy boy. Uh, and you said that you knew him from uh, from uh, Survive. So oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, cool. Jesus, no. Take me out of here. Bye. I wonder if you can just leave now. So I just went in again, weirdly. How's that work? I just stuck here forever now. Um, <clears throat> All of heroes. What was I even fucking talking about? Yeah, Fabio. No, before that, about like Harry Potter something. Harry, Harry Potter 3, Harry Potter 4. Yeah, 4. Or well, 5. You beat 5. Oh, yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah, because what were those things in Harry Potter 5 where like there were these kind of dragons, but you couldn't see them unless something. Unless you were a virgin or some shit, maybe. I don't know. <coughs> That's the thing. Have you seen Galavant? Galavant's fucking great series. Which is, uh, I've heard of Galavant. It's, uh, the music is by Alan Menken, which is the first reason that I decided to check it out anyway. Uh, but I've only just finished watching it. It's like one of the few series that I like that my girlfriend's actually really into as well. It's like everything's like... Do you consider a trade? I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Like, I've tried to watch Peep Show with her. Because I, I remember you saying, like, Oh, you know, everyone watches Peep Show with the girlfriend. Yeah, and no one likes it, really. Except I can I can, I can can be an exception to that now. I can be. Oh, what? Did your see, pr previous girlfriends not like it? See, see Ellen, didn't, Ellen, Ellen didn't like it, but Amelia oh. does. So oh, okay. That's good. That was good. I like that. I like that a lot. You gotta, like, like, you gotta like, like Peep Show to be accepted, you know. Yeah. yeah maybe that was by oh. me and Ellen ended, you know. Was, <laughs> yeah. Was. Well, I mean, looks like we're all already finished, so we might have to just. I don't know what else there is to do in this game other than. Well, I guess I could finish it nope. finally. <laughs> ten oh, hang out of on. twelve. There's still ten out of twelve. I, I mean, I, I guess I can. So I guess I can find the Shut remaining up. two. What an absolute. What'd she say? What a kiss ass. I feel so honored to be in the same house as you, Harry. Ew. <laughs> Harry should just be like, yeah, maybe you should show your appreciation for me up in my bedroom. <laughs> yeah, you know he's... Because that was definitely a first year, and you know he fucking likes yeah. him young. Because he, he went after Ginny as well. That's right. Spongify! Oh, have we been here before? Uh, like, no, apparently not, because otherwise there wouldn't be beans here. But But the thing is... I've been there because this doesn't count as a new secret. So I, I probably just opened it, but then I couldn't use the Spongify card. Yeah. Yet. There must be more. Where are all the... Why are there even... 12 just in this fairly small area alone? Hmm. Oh, I probably got that one. So that's just for that area. Okay. I'm yeah, well, this board. oh, this still counts as well. It's like per loading area, basically. Mm. It's like the Slytherin Commons room. I know has a secret somewhere. Oh, we all know that it's a very dark secret. <laughs> Deep dark rape dungeon. <laughs> Let me just see. Scooch, Lemos. Yeah, we could be looking around for a while. I don't know. It's hard mm -hmm. to. Oh, it, that's the thing. This game is very secret heavy. Like I couldn't even tell you where to begin. You know, with like platformers and stuff. I don't know. I feel like you can look around. With like these more explorative games, it's like really like it's hard to know what we've haven't haven't done already. Mm -hmm. Like secret wise. Yeah, I mean, this is a fairly small area, so it should be pretty easy to sweep for a few secrets, and then 
Uh, we can just go to the house cup ceremony and just end the game, basically. <laughs> the house cup ceremony and, and what? What? Concede defeat? Oh, shit, yeah. I guess we need to... I guess we need to... Get those, uh... What's it called? Oh, I've been there as well. I guess we need to get the... Get More some points. points. So then what? Well, am I supposed to just go do another go, go to a challenge again or just do quidditch which is really boring actually Ugh, quidditch they even release a quidditch game Boy, like an uh, entire game yeah did they do a, a better job of that I don't know. probably i mean you'd have to assume they would have but yeah. um i mean if you're developing an entire the... engine based on just one action um yeah was it a new Where going, Harry? engine that was simple <laughs> Interestingly enough, there is a, there is a debug mode in this version. Oh, maybe. Um, yeah, yeah, there is. The, yeah, yeah, so you can, like, uh, do the, um, you can do, like, free camera mode. Maybe you can just, like, look through, <laughs> look through all the walls trying to find the, the secret. Oh, uh, right. I think there's, bastard. there's at least one in the Gryffindor commons room that I probably didn't get. So, <laughs> jeez. What a dis- Jeez, her face has basically been sewn off. <laughs> All right. Oh, this one just gives you one bean now, I believe. Bing. It's like right. So, because this definitely looks like it opens, you can just tell that there's like a, a like like a rectangular shape that just is misaligned. Yeah. yeah. I believe there's shit up here. Oh, it's so... him. Hello, Harry. Excellent have you heard about really excellent. yeah thank you have you heard about the channel sh seven gryffindor an entire challenge stage its warp is behind a locked door in the gryffindor common room and is accessed by free camera slash ghost mode or by choosing it in the level select alternatively Wait, the level can be act enabled by creating a file in the system folder named abc.int with the following contents enable equals true yeah it's just like another challenge what? There's like hidden in the game. Like it's it was well, just Well, then I not must be able to added. load it through the level uh cuz I use a level editor pardon me to uh, pardon me. Uh, I've used the level editor to, you know, make some of my own stuff and yeah, I yeah, yeah. kind of wanted to get back into that as well, but like <clears throat> I'm I I I'm I was going to use that to load the other level which is like supposedly this thing that leads to Harrogate hut or whatever yeah 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 Hagrid's hut is listed in here too i'm on the cutting room floor right now looking at it oh. i was trying to see if i can find any um yeah well that was the last secret of this area so that's excellent Two thousand points to gryffindor yeah <laughs> should have been um, oh cool apparently if you can get into the fat lady's room what, that? It's just an empty door of nothing. Yeah. Oh, there's just fat ladies in there, actually. Wait, there's a bunch of fat ladies in there? No, no, she's in there, though. Just one. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, actually, yeah. So, th what this game basically does, is because Hogwarts gets reused so many times, uh, they just reuse the same map, but then they yeah. load in different people. Like for different scenes and stuff like that uh, within the game. So, basically what they have is they have this map, but then they have like off to where you could never reach normally. Yeah. They have like this room with all those people in there that they can then use to send over to <laughs> whenever yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they... They just teleport them over to the location that they need to be at any time. So probably that fat lady is in there somewhere because you don't actually normally see her unless yes, you talk. Yes. Like if you just look at the portrait, it's just um this is it. What the hell? I would have what? thought there would be a chest in there, but okay. Hmm. Well, and uh but normally if you just look at the portrait, it's just like 2D. So Yeah. Hence, look, we don't we don't want to see her in 3D. Look. Nice. Yeah, well, you, you only see her in 3D. It's not pretty when... enough in 2D. Oh, oh, there were supposed to be cards here, but I already bought them earlier. I mean, found them on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Well, 
I don't know. I guess I'll just... I mean, the quickest way to get house points is probably Quidditch. Fuck, we need to get, like, almost, like, one-seventh of all the I don't know if it points. matters, though. Maybe it's like Harry Potter 1, where at the end you get a bunch more. <laughs> and Harry Potter, by virtue of existing, yeah. 200 points. Harry Potter points. for his amazing blowjobs. <laughs> Harry Potter. <clears throat> For getting that ugly bird out of my wig. Like but and I don't mean suck beak. <laughs> I mean buck beak. <laughs> you do a Is better blow job win? than suck beak, if you know what I mean. <laughs> like McGonagall's getting too old. <laughs> That's what he calls Law uh, he, he's not talking about the Griffin of like you know, Hagrid's Griffin is called Buckbeak, and then uh McGonagall is just called Suckbeak around the... <laughs> around <laughs> campus. <laughs> <laughs> They're all Scottish minx. This is just nothing, the by the way. It's just an auto-scroll. You can move your mouse around a bit to, while you have to just literally knock <laughs> players out. Look, they're just hanging on the broom. <laughs> how's, that, how's that like a, a, a healthy sport? Yeah, that is incredibly dangerous. Like this sport should have this been worse than wrestling. Was, yeah, it's this people really dying is. left and right. Look, at least wrestling is you know, scripted. Yeah, I guess. So what is that? So there's like less of a danger because it's scripted, even though someone yeah. died from, you know, it's part of, repelling that's part of the script. <laughs> oh, only oh, well twenty on. points. Damn it. So, you, literally, you're the only one ever who gets any house points for Gryffindor. So, yeah, while the rest of the suck. team... Like, I got the snitch, which is 150 points, right? While the, yeah. the opposing team already got 130 points in something else, just by, you know, scoring, like, throwing the yeah. balls through the rings and stuff like that. Uh, whilst my team got a zero, got, no, like, fucking nothing. It's just... <laughs> They don't do shit. Like, I'm the only one who does anything. What they should do is make it take so long <coughs> that you end up losing anyway because the 150, it's like, yeah, yeah you need to make sure the other team wins. So, yeah, basically the other team wins if you catch the snitch after they have gotten more than 150. Because like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they, your team that, never gets any fucking points as far as I'm I mean, that's what made, that's what That's why the whole concept <coughs> of Quidditch just makes no real logical sense because... It's like, you know, the whole point is that the snitch invalidates the rest of the game for the most part. Yeah, you know, it like, always ends the game. Uh, yeah. Catching the snitch always ends the game, which is why y you then can't score any more points. I wonder what the hip-hop community feels about the usage of the term snitch, you know, to describe <laughs> the, uh, the golden ball here. Uh, they should be calling it snatch. <laughs> <laughs> Get that snatch, part of Snatch that wig. <laughs> the <laughs> wig. What's that from? <laughs> Snatch that weave. <laughs> you know, it was funny. I was talking with, I think to myself, I think I was having a little talk to myself that if, if, <laughs> any, of our old if, if any of our old material got, <laughs> we made it for like celeb status, right? We'd be, we'd be cancelled. What, you mean by someone just casually looking it up on YouTube? Yeah, we'd be cancelled. Like some of that old shit, which I, I'm not 100% <laughs> proud of and will be continuing to yeah. do. But like, I just find it funny and like some, of the, some of those tweets that get like shared around today. It's like, this guy, I can't believe it. He, right. I'm like, oh my God. Like, we Yeah, he be... once made a pedophile joke on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm he, thinking, yeah, do AKA, not... he is a pedophile now. It's like, it's like, do not watch uh, the Hitman LP oh, where we I'm pretty sure we made points. many Peter references. You know, yeah, well, well, Harry Potter for that matter. Yeah. I mean, what better game to do it in than a game <laughs> what populated better game, by what children? What better game to sexualize children in? Yeah, I mean, with uh, that's populated by children and some fat old giant who <laughs> goes like, come and join me for tea in my hut. <laughs> it's like, it's I mean, like it's hard not to say anything. I've got my spine. It's maybe it's like it's like, hey kids, hey kids, like don't you ever dare think about running away because I do have a pet spider that will bite your face <laughs> off. Because <laughs> yeah, he does as well, fucking bitch spider. Yeah. It, like you say, you're a friend of Hagrid, and he's just like, 
I wouldn't deny my children such fresh yeah. meat. Hagrid would understand if you yeah. know what I mean. It's like Hagrid would understand. It's like you go tell Hagrid, yeah. like the, the, the principal, like the, the school faculty become involved and all of a sudden, like they're just, Hagrid's just like, yeah, no, nah, it's all right. It's all good. Like, I understand. I mean, the one time that Hagrid actually got expelled was for something he didn't do. That's right. Like, well, he got yes. expelled. He got like fired because... Oh, we've, we're only two points off. Okay. <sighs> I guess just one more Quidditch match then. What's that last Quidditch match? <clears throat> it's probably like the final Quidditch match against uh, Griff, uh, Slytherin. Damn. Well, I don't know if I can be bothered to do that one. <laughs> yeah, so we missed the final bonus bean room as well, where you can finally use Spongify. I was actually playing through the whole game again recently, and this time I found a lot more of the secrets and stuff yeah. like that. And I got, a, I got more points, so I did the... Spongify bonus bean room, which is actually Spongify. It's like the ultimate bonus bean room when you can use Spongify in it. Because yeah. normally, like the carpets, like each time you revisit the bonus bean room, you can use like you can go to more areas because you've yeah, learned yeah, new yeah. spells. <coughs> With the oh fuck off. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just gone. I say, like, wonder like we... how much, how much is the broom? And how much is Magic. the one controlling it? All right. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> the broom is still flying while while he's out. So I'm like, is does the broom That's have exactly a bit of a mind the, of its own? The, the, yeah, the broom is, I think, very intelligent. That's the only. Yeah, because way. it listens when you say up. Well, yeah. to most, if if you if you, it's like a dog, I guess. Because like a lot of people when they in the first movie when they go like up. Uh, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. And then for Potter, it worked instantly because he's I, like, I, I just for think no the, reason at all, he's great. The elephant in the room here is that, you know, Gryffindor as, a, as an offensive unit, they really need to get their shit together. You know, because yeah. they're just, it's just, it's not looking good for them. You know, like without well, Harry, like what happens when Harry retires, you know? Well, then a new guy will come along just hey, like oh, Harry's father before him. Was the <laughs> Harry's, best Harry's son. Yeah. Does he get children? He does, he does. Um, I, I take it that you haven't seen the new Harry quote unquote no, Harry seen. Potter films? Yeah, no. I yeah, they're, they're, I, the only yeah. thing I've caught of it really is like seeing recommended videos on YouTube that I never click shit. on, but that are like everything wrong with. Yeah, yeah, that came up for me. This too. next yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff yeah, like yeah, that, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. Here's exactly right. Tool. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't check that out either though like i don't know something like I've, I've, i'm kind of sick of youtube videos that are like Critique culture. slamming yeah. yeah yeah me too i've become a bit tired of it too like i, I watched a bit of it and i just it's something I that i kind of missed i, I mean i could have jumped on that bandwagon because i have enough fucking criticism in me <laughs> it's like everything wrong with oh, here Bohemian Rhapsody. silence well yeah i wouldn't have probably done that points you know Oh, the movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought the song. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen that film because I sort of anticipated that I probably wouldn't like it. Oh, I enjoyed it. It's like a... Uh, or like, I'm, I'm always like wary of like not wanting there to be huge inaccuracies. Yeah, because then you'd hate it. Yeah. Yeah. In fourth place. Oh, here we go. Oh, pathetic as usual. <laughs> Thank you for in not saying last place, place as usual. Thank you. We find finishing in the middle to be quite adequate. <laughs> That's so meta. Now, Jesus. Second yeah. place house. It'll be you, Gryffindors. <laughs> You're naturally second best. Shut the fuck up, Malfoy. Shut the fuck up. Like you did last year. Just After silence. What? <laughs> 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 Sucked in now <laughs> for you, dickhead. First place. What the hell? Goes to no. <laughs> yes! Was that stinking? <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know if I have <laughs> Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's it. That's the game. <laughs> oh, what a car crash. <laughs> Gryffindor won. Yay. Wow, what a great cinematic panning shot as the uh, environment fades in and out. 
Hang on, is there is there any no. sticker on this? Oh. <laughs> no. Yes. Pissing me off, you idiot! <laughs> Oh my god, the associate producer name was. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The associate producer, what? Aspen. The guy's last name was Aspen. I swear, but what's that word? I've heard a that Like A S P E N. Like, it's just a. Yeah. It sounds like it's aspirin. It's just a weird. Yeah, like aspirin. Oh. Uh. I need to take some aspirin. I feel like I said location or something. I don't know. Yeah, I went to Aspen. Yeah, I think it is, actually. Sounds like one of those, like, you know, rich California bros, like, locations. Aspen. <laughs> Apparently, it's in Colorado. Oh, there we go. But there's also Aspen Pharma Care. There's, like, a bunch of... It's, like, a bunch of stores or something? Aspen. Oh, it's a fuel supply. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's well, also a interesting, uh, like, Swedish-looking Twitch streamer. Shout out to you, Aspen. Oh, what the hell? The first, uh, the first, uh, voice actor, which probably was, uh, Harry, he was called, like, something Attenborough. Tom Attenborough. <laughs> wow. wonder if ne he's taking the old cap from, uh... Nepotism strikes again in the British yeah. games industry. <laughs> As always. <Yeah. laughs> you know, it's always the same names over and over in, uh, in games. So it was the same white guy names. Yeah. <laughs> it's... It's always, oh, not another fucking, uh, Newell, <laughs> not another Newell president. Oh, looks, JK Rowling gets a special thanks there. As if she needs yeah. it. Yeah. Like, look, hey, look, you know money. what, half the cast of this game actually turned out to be autistic and gay. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, that whole, that whole meme with J.K. Rowling, it's like, Hey, it turns out Draco Malfoy was actually a black hermaphrodite. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and he had the same skin disease as Michael Jackson. That's why he looks like the that. Vitiligo. Yeah, vitiligo. The vitiligo, yeah. yeah. There he is, Aspen Price. It's like, hey, what's the price of Aspen? <laughs> <laughs> it's like something is someone with a speech impediment is like Eddie would say if he would try to get some aspirin. <laughs> What's the price of aspirin here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could not go to my cut through the winter. <laughs> I'm the FHA 13 was right. Eddie's not gonna make it uh, without aspirin. Uh, uh, Eddie Collins not gonna buy cut with the aspirin. <laughs> Oh, okay, wow. well, quiet. The LA green. vocal majority working on this game. Fucking Jeremy Soul, he's, he's amazing. He, Jeremy. He also did Oblivion, like basically all the, all the Elder soundtrack. Scrolls games. Oh, okay, yep, yep, yep. It is a good soundtrack, very atmospheric, very, very on brand. Yeah, Harry Potter's like. It's like one of my favorite soundtracks ever. I was actually listening to this guy today, um, it's kind of sort of related. Um, that was that sort of Angus. did a bunch of Game Boy Advance and DS game soundtracks, so like these licensed movies. But there's like so many hidden gems in these tracks. Like you'd think, who the mm. hell cares about the robots soundtrack? You remember the movie Robots? Like who would care about the <laughs> yeah. robots soundtrack? But it actually was genuinely great. There's like this guy's using like mate like minor chords in it and stuff like that, and like jazzy progressions with like Game Boy Advance instruments, and it just like was really like. Interesting to hear, like Game Boy Advance instruments yeah, like, in robots. Yeah, like with like Game Boy Advance, like huh. it was like you know obviously it had to That's be like, cool. heavily compressed sort of audio. But I, gu um, I guess because it's like because because it's for robots, they tried to go with something that sounds like sort of like electronic. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Well, this was this was this was for yeah. This was for this was not the console version of the soundtrack. Like this was GBA. Oh, slash, you're talking about the yeah, game? This, yeah, okay. the game itself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I thought what you were saying was that for the soundtrack of Robot the, <laughs> Robot the movie, <laughs> no, right, someone yeah, yeah, used yeah, 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 a bunch yeah. of GBA sounds. No, 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 no. The actual, yeah, no, the GBA That would have been soundtrack. cool as well. Yeah, that, would, that would be cool. But yeah, no, this excellent, excellent stuff. And also, I was listening to a bit of The Sims 2 on on, um, on DS as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, which is cool. I actually love The Sims 2 on is DS. Is it anything like the, uh, is it anything like the music, uh, Ed Byrne? Oh no, that's Dave Byrne. Uh, 
Is there anything like the music on PC version then? Um, no, not quite. Like a bit, <coughs> bit, more, bit, again, bit more atmospheric. Because I know you're a big fan of that. I am, I am. One and two. <coughs> does Hello. this just go on? Curtis Aspen. It <laughs> it's like Aspen's like cousin that they misspelled. Oh. Aspen and Asplund. <laughs> Aspen. Anyway, that's it. I think uh, we'll be back with you, with you shortly uh, after we finally, you know, finished up this game properly. We'll be back with you uh, for the real new content, which is, uh, yeah, I guess these maybe two new levels that, that were included mm. with the game that would just uh, load uh, via the level editor thing. <clears throat> and um, and then the demo level for the, the E3 demo of Harry Potter 2. So that should uh, tide y'all over. Yeah. And then uh, for now, it's it, it's uh, as Angus says goodbye. For now, or yeah, something possibly forever. Not, not for later. Not forever. Yeah, yeah. Poss- I mean, yeah. He didn't show up for the <laughs> session, so <laughs> he's died. Bitch. <laughs> All right. Bye.